Good evening, I'm Shogun Mohammed, and this is the 7 o'clock news. Under the patronage and in the presence of the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Honorary President of the Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation and founder of the KHK MMA Sports Organization, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, competitions for the 21st Brave Fighting Championship were held yesterday, which was organized by the Brave Fighting Association at the King Abdullah Sports City in Jeddah, with the participation of 11 countries, including KHK MMA player Hans Al Kuhiji, and with the attendance of sports enthusiasts. His Highness noted that Jeddah is a successful station for promoting this championship in the region, noting its strong presence at the level of mixed martial arts competition globally to enhance Bahrain's progress at the sports level. His Highness highlighted that the development of Bahraini sports is due to the support of His Majesty the King and the continuous follow-up and support of His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa.
Brave 21 is the history of 2018 finale is what happened today in Jeddah. This is the first time in the history of the fastest growing sport in the world is mixed martial art and in the history of mixed martial art we've never had any promotion, any event in the world do 12 events in one year in 12 different countries. The ending was here in Saudi Arabia today of 2018 and uh, the fights showed how big of athletes and competitors we have in Brave Combat Federation. It's the best fighters in the world fighting against each other and uh, the Saudi crowd loved it. The Saudi Mixed Martial Federation has helped us so much to make this happen and this is a step forward towards a new era of Middle East Mixed Martial Art. 2019, His Highness Sheikh Khalid, the, the first time he uh, started Brave, His Highness Sheikh Khalid said that I am not creating Brave to compete with anybody. I'm creating Brave because mixed martial art is a sport that is more global than football itself. And that's the only sport that can go around the world as much as, even more than football. So if that sport exists, I'm here to create Brave to change the sport into a situation where the whole world has an opportunity to become the best they want to be and achieve their dreams. So 2019 is going to be that step towards uh, uh, taking that first step to making that happen. Till today, 2018, Brave was trying to be a voice. Today we are a voice. 2019, we're going to start speaking. In the presence of the Deputy Chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club held the ninth race of the season yesterday at the race horse in Asghir. It was held for the cups of the late Abdullah Ahmed Nas Foundation, Applied Science University Blue Dawn Institution, Gulf City Cleaning Company, and McDermott, also present at the race, were Sheikh Sultan al Din bin Mohammed bin Sultan Al Khalifa. Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Hashim bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Nadir bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, Sheikh Nuh bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, representatives as well as horse racing fans. At the end of the race, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the cup of the late Abdullah Ahmed Nas and the winners were honored.
The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, visited the Jabriya Industrial Secondary Boys School, where he viewed a number of workshops and laboratories for teaching the technical and vocational specialties at the school, which included many modern and advanced equipment provided by the ministry. He was also briefed on a number of student projects. The Naimi stressed the ministry as part of its efforts to develop technical and vocational education in the secondary stage is continuously developing technical and vocational specialties that meet the demands of the labor market, developing curricula, providing the latest practical laboratories, and promoting the use of digital technology in education, in addition to enhancing the practical aspect through the Tech Queen program for field training, which benefits 1,812 students in 200 governmental and private institutions. The minister pointed out that the ministry's interest in developing technical and vocational education is due to the specialization of this sector, which is one of the required specialties in the local and international labor market. He noted that the ministry has taken steps in expanding the application of technical and vocational specialties to include public secondary schools. The minister added that the training program, which is implemented by the ministry in cooperation with a number of governmental and private institutions, is a prerequisite for graduating from the developed technical and vocational education system.